Hey guys, it's Gabe, and today I'm going to make a video about how to refer to trans people, especially when dealing with their transition in your life. So, just to start out, I have to say a disclaimer that all of these talking points that I'm going to say today are based on my own personal experiences transitioning during high school, and I definitely do not speak for all trans individuals. I'm just making this in hopes to maybe help some people who don't really know what to do in a time like this. Okay, so my first um, tip would be to use the current pronouns that the person is using when you're referring to them in the past. Like for me, I'm a trans guy, I would prefer if people referred to me as he when talking about me in the past. So, you know, so on with other people, don't use their old pronouns when talking about them in the past, even though they used to be, you know, a different person, if you will, the person they are now is what matters and how they would want to be referred to. They don't want to be seen as two different people. And when a person is transitioning in your life, it's okay to make mistakes with their pronouns, but the most important thing is that if you can, if you remember, to quickly correct yourself and apologize don't make a big deal out of it. People know that, you know, it's okay. Mistakes are going to happen. It's even weird for the trans person in the situation to hear new pronouns for the first couple months. You know, it's weird for everyone. We get it. It's okay if you make a mistake. Just, you know, apologize. Keep trying. It's all right. Um, don't be surprised if the person likes things that they did before. Like, for example, with me, um, I used to be really into makeup and handbags and things like that and I still am today and sometimes that can confuse people because they're like wait you're a guy you shouldn't you not like makeup but the more important thing is just to remember people can like whatever they want and you know we're still the same people that we used to be for the most part our lives don't you know really change overnight or anything so don't be surprised if some things that the person used to like or used to like to do keep coming up in their new life, if you will. Also, let people express themselves the way that they want to. So either whether it's the beginning of someone's transition or they've been in it for years now and living as who they want to be, don't push the person into your ideals of what you think a man should be or a woman should be. Just let them do it how they want. That's all they've wanted, you know, for however long they have. And the more important thing is to just offer help if they need it in, or if they ask for it. In areas that they want, they might ask you where to go shopping or something like that, but don't push things onto them and don't offer help for things that they don't want. Um, it's okay to be confused and ask questions about the person's transition, what being trans means for them, you know, if it came to like all of a sudden, like it was a shock to you or something that they were trans, it's okay to ask about it and it's okay to ask about their experience, but it's never okay to ask invasive questions that violate personal privacy or anything like that. Uh, trans people get asked a lot of rude questions, so just don't be one of those people you know, some things just aren't the business of anyone but that person. So, you know what kind of questions I'm talking about. Don't ask those. It's gross. No one cares. Don't ask it. Um, so, also on that point, don't rely on the trans person in the situation to bring up their situation about being trans. You can't expect them to tell you their story out of the blue because when a person transitions, they feel like they're already putting a big strain on their relationships, even if they have great relationships in their life. It's a big change, and so you have to show the person that you're interested, and you have to be the one to ask questions because a trans person is already scared enough facing a new side of their life. They're not going to, you know, tell every person they meet their life story. So if you're interested, it's okay. You're allowed to ask questions, but it's important that you be the one to bring it up and show them that you care and you're interested. And my last tip would be to just remember that if this is a person that you've known for a long time and all of a sudden they've transitioned or they've been transitioning for a year and now they're a different person, if you will, just remember 
it's the same person you've always known. I mean, for the most part, there's not going to be a big change in your life or their life. They just want to be referred to differently and just remember that they're happier than they used to be. So don't try and hold them down. Just, just remember that your friendship or love or, you know, whatever kind of relationship you have is really important to them and they really need to see your care and support throughout the whole thing. Otherwise, they're just gonna assume the worst and the relationship will die. I hope this video has helped you if you've got someone trans in your life and you're not really sure how to deal with it or you're in a similar situation. So, thanks for watching, bye for now.